Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Priya Saini, your mind and style coach. Welcome you all on the Priya Saini show. The series is all about mental wellness and this episode is specifically for all the entrepreneurs and startups out there. My initiative to do these series is to provide different perspectives because all of us come from different backgrounds, circumstances, cultures. So today we have Chayan Mukhopadhyay, the co-founder and CEO of Candle, an HR tech solutions for all the forward-looking organizations. Chayan is an IAM Bangalore management graduate and has led key roles in Jibong and American Express. He loves reading non-fictional books and is currently averaging one book per two weeks. In his leisure time, he loves to watch football and play chess. His philosophy of life is to be consistent and keep moving forward. With that, let's get into the interview right away with Chayan Mukhopadhyay. Hi Chayan, how are you? Hi, hi Priya. Um, I'm doing well. Thanks. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. And uh, I am aware that you were fighting COVID. So I hope that you're fine now. Uh, yes. So so uh, luckily the symptoms were mild. I am in home okay. isolation. And mm-hmm. yes, so there is, there is some weakness. But uh, overall, I think the, the worst is over. Okay. Um, so Chayan, uh, please share about your company, how your journey has been, like how difficult or easy. I'm sure that uh, all the journeys have their own challenges. So what have your challenges been and what have your victories been? Uh, sure. So uh, as you said, right, I think my journey, while it has been similar to most entrepreneurs, like every journey is different in their own way. Right. Right? And uh, it, it has a lot of ups and downs. Um, mm-hmm. It has been extremely intense. But but somewhere I think uh, that is what a lot of entrepreneurs love. I, I surely do. Mm-hmm. We want that rush, that intensity in our lives. Uh, the journey consists of uh, new challenges every day. On most right. days, my plans on what I need to get done on that day goes for a toss because something or the other comes up which needs my immediate attention. Right. And then I'm only able to get to my to-do list in the evening mm-hmm. when the day has ended. Okay. And, okay. Uh, there, are just, um, there are just so many moving parts, right? In a, in, in a startup, sales, marketing, operations, finance, mm-hmm. uh, customer support. And then multiple challenges are things which need to be fixed uh, in, in, in one of these areas. I think entrepreneurship is similar. Challenges are more frequent than the victories, but the victories are amazing. So, for example, when a customer gives a positive feedback about us or writes a good review or they refer someone, these are the moments which uh, make us feel extremely happy and proud. Uh, that, that we have created something out of zero, out of nothing, Absolutely. which people are using, which people are paying for, and then they are finding it useful and they are recommending it to others. That, that feeling is uh, beautiful. And every time that happens, it reminds me why we started Candle, to solve a genuine problem and that we are on the right track to solving it. So you keep saying that it's a single man's journey or a single woman's journey when it comes to a startup or an entrepreneurship. And as you said, that there are a lot of failures than victories, right? So how do you deal with failure? How should one cope up with those emotions when one goes through those challenges? Like I always say that the, that entrepreneurship is, is a, a lifestyle and it's a, it's a choice. Yes. Um, but it is, it is extremely lonely, right? And um, mm. is uh, and and for this you need the uh, st- stability of the mind, right? It, it's mm. extremely important. Uh, it's important for any individual to lead a healthy lifestyle. But it's more mm. so for an entrepreneur, uh, the nature of whose vocation is characterized by a lot of hustle, and it's inherently chaotic, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, being an entrepreneur also means uh, no matter what storm is brewing, uh, what hurdles you have to overcome, you have mm-hmm. to project strength and robustness uh, mm-hmm. in order for the company to realize its goals. No one, no mm-hmm. one likes to uh, see a weak entrepreneur. So mm-hmm. on the outside, you have to project that. 
Right. Also, I was doing some research and I found out that so I was extremely surprised to see that over seventy uh, percent entrepreneurs experience poor mental health. So they suffer mm-hmm. from uh, stress, burnout, uh, breakdown, chronic anxiety, insomnia, and and the works. It, it this is something which needs to be talked about more. Uh, mental health mm-hmm. is still considered a taboo, and j- just imagine what ramifications will a company have if 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 it's if, if the leader comes out and says that. Uh, i am suffering from some mental health issues people mm. will like, may, may not even trust the company but that's exactly something that we need to change because otherwise people suffer in silence uh, this is too important a topic to uh, ignore while i'm definitely not an expert in mental health but i can share some things that i do to uh, keep my sanity in check uh, when the going gets tough and uh, yeah. to be honest every day is tough as an entrepreneur since the buck uh, stops at you if you don't have any manager who you can uh point 2 like absolutely so some of the things that i do uh, are so so first is it's very important to try and understand what is contributing to the stress um mm-hmm. and then once you identify it you can start thinking about the solution for example can something be done about it um the the second thing is to have a support system i cannot over emphasize the importance of having a support system in place mm-hmm. um And, and it is required both at a personal and at a professional uh, mm-hmm. at the professional front. Uh, also, an, another thing which I found uh, a lot of people don't do, but they should, is uh, to remove your self worth from the success of your startup. Uh, the, those two are not combined; they are not related. People forget mm-hmm. that. People think that mm-hmm. if the startup is not successful, then I am not successful. That that's mm-hmm. not true. uh an entrepreneur but that's needs to how, but that's how yeah. the society looks at you or anyone right exactly so how to do you deal with that so that uh, that i think contributes to a lot of stress the moment you combine the two it would lead to a lot of stress and i think uh, as this ek like logo ka kaam hai kehna i think i know it's easier said than done but uh, that is what mm-hmm. entrepreneurs are anyway uh i would think that they are extremely resilient uh, because mm-hmm. uh, they have intentionally chosen a lifestyle which is tougher uh, than than what they could have led mm-hmm. so i think they need to embrace failure the data mm-hmm. speaks for itself right like i think more mm-hmm. than 90% startups or i think 95% startups fail so people need to embrace the failure treat it as a learning experience i know it's easier uh, said than done but it's extremely important for an entrepreneur's uh, mental health we need to be objective about the startup and what we are doing uh, and and completely remove the emotions out of it ki log kya kahenge what will people think uh, this this will not only lead to better decision making but it will also improve uh, one's uh, mental health and the last thing which i have found a lot of solace in is uh, self care and self reflection i think these are extremely essential uh, tools mm-hmm. for an entrepreneur to nurture their mental mm-hmm. health um, it enables uh, uh, an outcome at work which is most beneficial um, mm-hmm. all of us need to have some hobbies outside of the startup it's very important to switch off i personally i love uh, playing chess so i am an and i love reading non fiction books and i consciously try to carve out time from my daily routine to do these things uh mm-hmm. time spent to recharge yourself is time well spent it shouldn't be considered yeah. non productive hmm absolutely absolutely so these are quite i guess helpful tricks and practical ways in which one and specifically entrepreneurs can burst out that bubble of uh, stress and anxiety and take failures as their uh you know learnings rather than attaching it to their self worth rightly said chaya so they, when you said that you have a lot of to do list and then in the end uh, sometimes you're not able to finish those works or which you've planned for the day so how do you deal with that guilt i'm sure that you know we all get guilts with uh, these kind of to do lists if you're not able to finish them so how do you deal with that guilt for the day because that guilt surely suppresses the productive productivity for the next day yeah so so uh, so this is something that i uh, that i always tell my team members as well that uh, when you have more on your plate than what you can do uh, always prioritize uh, and, and think uh, that what can wait will wait so mm-hmm. then you have to prioritize that okay this is something that i need to 
from this today and if uh, something can wait till tomorrow then let it wait till tomorrow and if uh, there is something that i can delegate then i definitely mm. delegate so basically it's just a talk to self regarding our priorities regarding you know something which has to be shifted to the next day so basically it's just the self talk which we need to do because else we'll fall into the trap of the self guilt and this will be again a vicious circle right absolutely and 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 if in spite of that uh, you are not able to complete suppose there are two things both are equally uh, important right. and both are done today then uh, option one is to a ask for help uh, from your mm. colleagues from other right. uh, other team members and if they are also not able to help then uh, the 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 best solution is to just be completely honest about it just tell them mm -hmm. whoever you had to submit it to uh, mm -hmm. that it cannot be done see yeah. but it's important Absolutely. to communicate i think a lot of people don't communicate and uh, suffer in silence so i think communication is the key to solving a lot of these issues right i believe like as much as work i've i have been doing on mental health and talking to different people and understanding and reading research papers what i've understood is that one is that people don't ask for help secondly the people don't talk to themselves so the self talk is missing and the talks to the other you know members of their team or even their family is missing so the communication gap creates uh, you know stress here it, gets burdened and piled up and piled up and suddenly we reach a situation where it is all on us and we are not able to do anything with us even with our minds right yeah yeah absolutely i completely agree so i think people need to uh, seek help and definitely uh, introspect more so self reflection mm -hmm. self care those are extremely important right as you said that one should have hobbies and one should invest time in it and it is totally an investment rather than uh, a waste of time right absolutely so so um so at present when we see there's a lot of uh, chaos outside the pandemic is there and then we're not able to go out and of course we are inside in many times in isolation and someone in the family is not well or the friends are not well and we're hearing so much and because of the pandemic this already so much stress and we know that entrepreneurs have to go through that anxiety otherwise itself so this doubling of this mental pressure and the anxiety and the stress what do you suggest to the young entrepreneurs out there or the ones who starting their work that how to handle the stress these stress together because this has become the new normal it is not going to change very soon it will stay for some time till the time at least the vaccination is done and that will take some time so what do you suggest for those uh first of all i think we need to acknowledge that it is very difficult uh, when people mm -hmm. around are uh, suffering so much and we are all realizing every day how fragile life is mm -hmm. uh, it's just so difficult to think about progress and and the long term uh, yet mm -hmm. the the show must go on and as uh, entrepreneurs we need to uh, have a vision and a long term plan and we mm -hmm. need to ensure that everyone in the organization uh, is working towards it right mm -hmm. uh, there are a few salient points i try to retain in my mind uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's important to keep things in perspective bemoaning the state of the world is not going to change it right mm -hmm. we need to acknowledge the challenges uh, but then attempt to be proactive and take one day at a time consistent mm -hmm. progress every day goes a long way in making a lot of positive difference in the long run i think consistency mm -hmm. and perseverance are two mm -hmm. of the most uh, underrated virtues especially for entrepreneurs uh, here i also uh, circle back to my earlier point about uh, eating some time out for your uh, for, for yourself for your daily self mm -hmm. reflection and you, you can do a lot of activities right for example meditation maybe take mm -hmm. a walk or do some exercise whatever works for you that's very mm -hmm. important because a healthy and peaceful mind is more likely to pave the uh, path towards progress okay. panic uh, seldom leads to smart decision making entrepreneurs mm -hmm. need to make decisions right and mm -hmm. they need to make decisions every day and these decisions mm -hmm. have far reaching impact on their company's success mm -hmm. uh, so so the need to stay sharp and uh, not mm -hmm. fall prey to uh, pitfalls So for to young entrepreneurs uh, i will just say that just focus on the core product deliver on your promises made to your clients and to your employees um, mm -hmm. and and constantly innovate and uh, improve 
but uh, again keep in mind that this situation is extraordinary so if your team members uh, need time off or uh, uh, something urgent comes up because then then you need to adjust so people need to plan for contingencies uh, because uh, plans can change overnight if, if that's mm-hmm. one thing that this pandemic has taught us it's that right? that uh, mm-hmm. you can plan what you want and, and as they say right man proposes god disposes so but you have to be uh, able and willing to change all your plans uh, because something unforeseen happens saying that it has become a new normal plans are changing change is the only constant so now how to adjust with this new normal as far as the startup ecosystem is concerned ah uh, so i think it, it's it's uh, difficult to adjust for for a lot of companies uh, what what matters is uh, how agile you are uh what matters is how quickly you are able to uh, adapt because we are saying that this is the new normal but uh, again we don't know how long this will last right how hmm. when some new change will come about because hmm. uh, i i think if if, if 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 this one thing as i said if, if this pandemic has taught us it is that you need to be able to uh, just plan and execute based on the changing circumstances so i think we mm-hmm. need to be resilient we need to uh, be focused towards the end goal and uh, then we need to work towards it and if if situations change then we need to change and adjust to those situations ourselves as well so chan can you shed some light on the power of planning because i personally believe that uh, i'm have seen that a lot of businesses are self suffering and uh, a lot of you people are not having clients people are not having business at all and uh, i just believe that this time can be utilized in planning sharpening the knife so that we can use it afterwards so how important is planning and how can one use this tool specifically in this time using your mental balance so that you can use your tools once the situation is over or the lockdown is completely over and the situation is a little better yeah so i, I would say there are two there are two points here one is planning about the tasks that you have long term and uh, short term and the mm-hmm. second is to uh, is about learning new skills or as you said sharpening mm-hmm. the knife right so i think yes. both are equally important uh, mm-hmm. one is if you are working then uh, plan planning assigning priorities as i said and making a list of rules mm-hmm. and uh, them one by one is how uh, people should work they should plan that's mm-hmm. how i work it not only helps with self confidence but also ensures that nothing important gets uh, missed out uh, mm-hmm. so for a company like candle there are a myriad of moving parts uh, we are a very lean organization which means that there are multiple diverse areas that uh, uh, that the team has to work upon this juggling act is impossible without meticulous planning and proper execution right. uh but but we need to but given the situation we also need to uh, be careful and keep keep in mind that there can be contingencies so plans need to change mm-hmm. and with respect to the second part um, i believe uh, i believe in this uh, in the concept of growth mindset people mm-hmm. need to continuously grow people need to be lifelong learners uh, we are extremely lucky that we have so many courses tools at our disposal mm-hmm. which i mm-hmm. think uh, the, the previous generations did not have now uh, because of the internet Absolutely. any skill that yes. we want to pick up we can just go to the internet and there Absolutely. are either some free courses or maybe some courses which cost peanuts right 2000 3000 rupees and you can mm-hmm. uh, become a master Uh, or, or you can learn from the best professors from the best universities right. in the world right. uh, so i think people need to uh, use uh, this this situation um, mm. again when when i uh, interview people who have maybe lost their jobs uh, due to the mm. pandemic i always mm. and maybe it has been say 3 4 months i always ask them okay what did you do in this 3 4 months did you pick up any new skills and uh, did you pick up any hobbies it's not necessary that they pick up new skills but it's important to do something uh, you can even it's say that you're progressing absolutely even saying that i learned to play a musical instrument or i learned uh, a foreign language or anything right or i picked up this book or i picked up these five books that i finished but it's important to do something we are mm-hmm. a generation that likes to spend a lot of time on uh, 
social media doing nothing but uh, mm. i think there are a lot of productive uh, hobbies and productive things that people can do uh, and, mm. and become like um, uh, learners uh, now chayan i have a few rapid fire questions for you uh, so please try and answer in one word so the key to success is perseverance perseverance all right uh, mental well being of employees can be dealt with one simple thing which is communication communication right he said self awareness is essential for what progress progress okay passion which one is more important for entrepreneurs passion or strategy passion uh, I, i would just take uh, like explain it a little because i i i firmly believe that uh, culture eats uh, strategy for breakfast and mm-hmm. uh, the culture that you uh, propagate in an organization mm-hmm. starts at the very top right. so right, sure. and and that is that is a little bit dependent on the passion of the entrepreneur absolutely. so absolutely if you are passionate then uh, of course the entire organization will be passionate and that will show so passion right. definitely success always feels like what happiness happiness and failure to me is learning experience learning experience all right i have uh, one last question for you like how do you deal uh, with the mental setbacks or the anxiety issues or even the mental issues which your employees have with who are having different cultural backgrounds different experiences in life how do you deal with different employees in your company or your team members so uh, first and foremost um, as i said that you have to communicate with everyone right and now especially after the pandemic more so Uh, you have to tell them that it is okay if they don't want to show up uh, on some days because someone in their family or maybe a friend is suffering and they are not in mm-hmm. the right state of mind right uh, currently getting people to perform at their best is not about giving passionate speeches mm-hmm. that's that that form of motivation does not work and mm-hmm. a and b it's not not even uh, fair to do that mm-hmm. right now now it is all about genuinely caring for your team members by understanding mm-hmm. what they are going through mm-hmm. and by offering support wherever possible mm-hmm. uh, I, i believe we need to draw from this broken windows theory so there's this theory mm-hmm. called broken windows theory which says that mm-hmm. uh, signs of disorder and misbehavior in mm-hmm. uh, in an environment encourages mm-hmm. uh, further disorder and misbehavior so mm-hmm. what it means is that suppose in a city uh, there is some crime and mm. then people see that there are broken windows uh, mm. then then more people will take the crime right. so something like that right and and it's uh, similar for uh, mental health and motivation that mm. if uh, there are minor chips and uh, slow wear and tear then it can mm. lead to a breach of catastrophic proportions so it's very important to uh, try and resolve the issues right at their in- infancy Right. and that can only happen if team members know that they can speak openly without any fear of retribution yes absolutely so those those were you know two very beautiful words which you so beautifully put and thank you chayan for sh- uh, sharing your valuable insights and i'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs will be inspired with this interview and uh, i'm very sure that they will also get insights for uh, their uh, you know if they're having some issues with their mental well being or anxiety issues in this present situation and thank you so much for being here on my show and it was a pleasure to have you on my show chayan uh likewise the pleasure is all mine and thanks a lot for having me priya thank you so much uh. so this was chayan mukhopadhyay who shed a lot of light on an entrepreneur's journey how tough it is and how to learn from those failures and how to be mentally balanced the practical ways in which you can actually conquer that victory which you want to conquer and go towards your aim He touched upon the importance of communication, not just with others, with your team members, but also with yourself. With that, I will take a leave, and I will be back with another video on my channel. Till then, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, do share it with the ones who need it, 
comment below if you learned anything from the videos which I've been putting on my channel and as well let me know if you have any suggestions for me. Stay safe, stay at home, go out only if you need to go out. Prevention is better than cure. Till then I will take a leave. This is Priya Saini, your mind and style coach. Thank you.